for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Capricorn, in the recent past, we have the Two of Swords. Now this would have been a good time romantically, especially for a romance that was already in existence. This card, it can signify that your relationship had come to a much lighter, easier, uh, more balanced phase. You two were probably treating each other as equals, playing a major role. If you were looking for love at this time or at that time in the past, uh, you needed to take a good hard look at, at yourself to see if you had any outstanding emotional issues that needed to be dealt with first. Because most people, they usually can, they usually can smell desperation a mile away or any other major issues. Um, and that can be a turn off because people can usually pick up on certain things. Uh, keep in mind that a life partner does not complete you. A life partner uh, is like icing on the cake of your own completed life. So uh, what you should not have done was to look outside yourself for happiness in the recent past or now for that fact. Um, because once you do that, the relationship you truly want and need will come to you. And then uh, the Two of Swords is paired with the Stir card. Now this is an excellent time. Well, it was an excellent time because we're talking about the recent past. To meet someone new if you were in the market for a new relationship. Although it's not impossible for... Um, well, it's not impossible that love could have simply knocked at your door. But it's more likely that you would have needed to get out and socialize and meet people. Uh, because a new relationship, it could, it could have happened at any time. So you needed to remember not to turn down any invitations at that time. If you were already in a love and committed relationship, then that relationship, it probably uh, was ready or it probably did move to a new level. One that was not only higher, but more fulfilling. Uh, so you made the most out of this opportunity and you built on it. And that's the recent past. Let's move on to the present. We have the Four of Pentacles. Now this card is about fear. If you can see the picture, it's, it's definitely showing uh, fear. And we're talking about love. So it's about fear when it comes to love. Either you are holding on too tight to a situation or a lover, or someone is attempting to do that to you. Now, keep in mind, um, being clingy, needy, clinging is not healthy. Uh, being needy, clingy, needy. No, 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 you want to stop that. True love always allow for space between lovers. And no matter what, one can never really control another person. Now, you, I would say if you are single at this time and think that you're ready for a relationship, realize that you will, or you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone to make it happen at this time because true love is not going to drop out of the sky and it's paired with the king of pinnacles now this card coming up in a reading it's an excellent uh, card in the tarot when we're talking about love someone may come along and absolutely sweep you right off your feet at this time okay um so you need to try to put your best foot forward. Don't pretend to be somebody that you're not. This person, uh, they're going to love you for exactly who you are. So be honest and everything should fall into place. If you're currently involved with someone, um, 
the relationship may very well move into a more comfortable place. Uh, but if you're dissatisfied, you'll need to say so for things to change. Don't expect your lover to read your mind at this time. With these two cards paired together, the Four of Pentacles, it's about fear. You're holding on too tight. Uh, probably you're being clingy needy. We don't like that. Okay, that's not good, all right? Um, uh, true love, it allows for space between lovers. Keep that in mind. Uh, so no matter what, uh, no one can really control another person. And being that it's paired with the King of Pentacles, uh, it's a great time for love. Um, uh, uh, it's trying to say, it's what these two cards paired together is trying to say, if you're trying to control a relationship or a situation, it's better to be more loving. Try to sweep that person off their feet. Um, don't try to hold on to them by fear or with fear. It's best to be probably be more romantic. Uh, show them more love and appreciation. Sweep them off your feet. And if you're single, then someone could be coming along to do this to you. And that's, that's in the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. We have the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands, it's important to, re to remember that no relationship and nothing on earth can stand up. It, no relationship and nothing on earth can stand up to constant picking apart, nagging, um, things like that. No relationship, it can stand up to that, if you're doing it, especially if you're doing it constantly. Try to give your lover some breathing space. If you are uncommitted and looking for a relationship, understand that the time may simply not yet be, be right for you. Ask yourself, are there things about you that you'd like to change? Uh, this is a good time to get yourself whole, get yourself together emotionally. So that when you are ready for a new relationship, that the person that you attract into your life is also together. They're also whole. So don't be in too much of a hurry at this time. And the Nine of Wands is paired with the Judgment card. Now, uh, if you're in a relationship, this can be a make it or break it period. Uh, okay, this is a time to get very clear about what what you want out of life and out of your relationships then take steps to make it come to life if you are seeking love at this time a new relationship may come about in the near future but you may need to take steps to make sure you're you're not leaping or jumping to conclusions about your new love and or them doing that to you so just keep in mind at this time, slow and steady wins the race. With these two cards paired together, okay, the nine of wands, it's a make or break period in a relationship. Get very clear about what you want. Take steps to make it come about. Uh, you could make it or you could break it at this time. And it's paired with being that it's paired with the judgment card. Um, uh, don't don't try to don't be too um, uh, too, too don't nag too much. Don't pick the pick the uh, relationship apart too much. Um, don't whine too much because no relationship can stand up to constant uh, criticism or uh, or um, being picked apart. Uh, give your lover some space. Breathing space is important. Um, because it's a make or break period, you'll need to just try some of these things so that um, uh, hopefully it's a make instead of a break. Okay, and that's going to be the challenge. Now, let's move on to the outcome. We have the Empress. Now, this is a very potent it's a powerful time for love. And you may find that men and women alike, they're suddenly finding you attractive. Uh, 
It could be in, in a friendship way or a romantic way. So you could be attracting friends and lovers at this time in a great way um, and abundantly. Okay, and um, just keep in mind, you'll have to be careful with how you use this power at, the, at this time. Don't underestimate its potency. If you are single and you are looking, then this is a time when love, true love that is, could very well come your way. In fact, if you're single and not looking, then true love may seek you out anyway. Committed relationships often become sweeter, deeper, and truer under the influence of the Empress. The Empress is paired with the Fool card. Now, with this card, um, take a good look at this picture. It's really interesting because um, love could indicate that you are not ready for a commitment. In a, well, in a love relationship situation type. Thing. It could, it's, it's showing that you're not ready for a commitment, at least not yet. Even though others could be pressing you for one right now, uh, now is really not the time. There's nothing wrong with having fun. And indeed, this card is a positive, it's a positive thing for your love life. Lots of fun seems to be in the making. And this is what you really want right now in an existing relationship. If, on the other hand, you are looking for a new relationship and hopefully love, then make sure you don't let your desire for fun let you overlook the real thing that may come up your way now. Because um, when, because when you're wrapped up in having so much fun, it can be easy to overlook the possibilities in a new relationship. True love is not always instant. So you'll need to make sure you're aware that it could be creeping up on you. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, the Empress card, it's basically, uh, it's basically showing and it's, it's uh, the Empress stands for being more attractive. And people are drawn to you at this time, um, both for friendships and um, lovers, uh, friendships and romantic. They're, uh, they're drawn to you physically. Uh, they're finding you more attractive. Uh, so don't underestimate the power that you have right now. It's paired with the full card. You can easily overestimate the power that you have like I said because it's paired with the fool card you're more interested in having fun and it's going to be easy to overlook uh, someone that's right for you because you're really not seeing it you're more interested in, in um, just walking off a cliff at this time <laughs> just like the picture shows you just have your um, your face up in the sky and you're not seeing that right person is right behind you. So that's what could happen at this time. That's the outcome. So Capricorn, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day.